Okay, here we are. Anybody want one of these? Here, you take one. Well, here we are. Hello. Nice to meet you, folks. Nice uh, you. Good to meet you as well. Good to meet you, Seth. Who? Hey, oh, I'm oh, the sorry. patient, and <laughs> I'm the patient. Oh, I'm so let's just you know, let's just get comfortable. We okay. got plenty of film. Uh, let's. What do we want to talk about? Um, I don't know. What are we talking about? Well, the Oscars were on uh, this past weekend, and um, well, we would like to do our own little Oscars here in uh, Boulder. So, do you have any awards you want to give out? I give the award of uh, hmm. Let's see. The award of Boulder is the excessive amount of construction going on at this time of year. So you would say the constructionists are perhaps uh, the uh, Academy Award? The, the performance is poor and um, too high reaching. Too too high reaching. Too too much money. Everything's becoming a little too too expensive here. We're trying to take the softer approach to the program because we have been accused of uh, profanity in uh, our program and attacking these <laughs> fucking Starbucks types. Starbucks, you mean? <laughs> what, what did I call it? You said Starbucks, but really it's Charbucks. Charbucks. Charbucks, yeah. And we attacked them last week, so we don't want to do that this week. No excessive uh, profanities then? We're kind of into TV because somebody uh, got upset at CATV because uh, somebody played Eminem lyrics in one of their programs. Okay. So uh, is that, I mean, but that's a violation of the freedom of speech, no matter what kind of language you use. Well, he felt that since the city partly uh, supports the program, the uh, station, that uh, well, basically there should be a social contract with the producers and that they should uh, use the wisdom of their own intelligence. And uphold the morals of the, our society here. Yes. In mm -hmm. Whose morals are those? I don't know. Where are Societies they? Societies in general. Anybody seen the morals? Republics. No. The Republic. The moral of the Republic. So anyway, I'm I'm deciding not to uh, abide by that kind of social contract. So I'm giving myself an Academy Award right now. <laughs> well, Good job. Here, here. Here's the Academy Woo! Award for you. And this is something that's you know typically I seen on the streets. Yeah. Of Boulder. Okay. And most most residents, that is. Then take these butts and just throw them. Right. Not me. I'm gonna hold on to mine until I find the trash right, can. Would you pick that up, please? Come on. <laughs> you know what I think is great that should be awarded here in here, Boulder. Hold, hold on to that. Okay. The um, extremely good, nice, courteous service that I always get at Lolita's. I love it. I love Lolita's. Do you know Lolita's won't be around much longer? No. Why? Why is that? Come on. Our please. office can't afford it anymore. No, no, because that land be, is valued at, yeah, you know, like a million at least. <laughs> like they did to Rich's oh, no. Amico. Yeah. Exactly. Because they sold out to uh, someone actually, no, okay. Development, so, right? Development for a three-level, three-level. Condo, condo, condo. Con exactly. Condos on rich, top, rich, business rich. on the second level, and then restaurant well, again, retail. Again, we stray. We want okay. to get away from We don't want to. We don't want to blast Boulder. Boulder. In general. Okay. What we want to do now is blast people who think that TV should only be according to their own personal values. What they want to watch. Exactly. Instead of the... This well, guy, they are the moral majority, This guy, though. Michael Kennedy, who's a complete fucking idiot, he uh, is basically uh, going to the city council and complaining that the, uh, the, the quality of uh, film and video at CATV is base and uh, promotes uh, violence and even sexual copulation. Wait, but who does, who, who, oh my. whom my does he represent? Does he represent the, the he, voice of Boulder? He thinks he, he does, yes. So Michael Kennedy, is that what you said? Michael Kennedy. Michael He's Kennedy. Not, well, fuck I, I, Michael he, Kennedy. Well, that's what I said, but actually there's another Michael Kennedy who's actually... Uh, uh, accused of Wait, murdering he's the a one neighbor. Who raped yeah. his, uh, or no, his, his neighbor is a neighbor, kid. Okay. You know, but, but, but that was those things don't ago, happen because it? we don't want to see them on TV. Right, right. Of course not. Right, unless it's a cute little girl, and then the whole nation a wants to know about it. A cute little six-year-old girl. Years and years and years, still, even after the point that it's happened. And we all know. Are who you really talking did about? It. Uh, no, no, we're not talking we're not about talking her. About that. No, we're not talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, something entirely non-related. <laughs> right. Someone who's only lived in Boulder less than a year would know, right? This is right because we right. don't know well, anything about it. My Nor have we formed any Minnesota solid are, opinions. are always very curious to know if I know any any new information mm -hmm. about it. And oh, you mean this is the capital of Ramsey? Right, oh. right. County. Right. That's right. <laughs> that is correct. You said it. And you know what? I I missed uh, the Oscars the other night because the Simpsons weren't on. 
And that's about all that I watch. I watched all of the Oscars. I've, I taped it. I watched some of it. I was watched. Was it well? Was it good? Well, Steve Barn was a real Steve jerk. Barn. Yeah, he was an asshole. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love the fact that you know Russell Crowe didn't allude to his his kidnapping plot, but then he again, did. he did. Oh, he, he did. He but thanked his security guards. Oh, oh he, that's who he thanked. <laughs> I couldn't figure it out because it wasn't his He's agent. Like, Thank it wasn't you his for production protecting company. Me. And I'm like. Protecting you, what, from Meg Ryan's from former himself? husband? I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, but then, uh, then someone said Antonio Banderas had to, had to tell everybody about this plot to kidnap him. And but. then I was wondering, what's that Zeta Jones person? Jones. Catherine Zeta Jones. She was in traffic. Oh, she right, right. Just she, yeah. copulated with Michael Douglas, right. you know, and. Right. Uh, and I don't think Michael Douglas would be with her if he was still on the streets of San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> and I this will say true. that uh, another one or two puppies pop out, you won't be seeing Michael Douglas around much longer. No, Catherine he's whipped. Cedar Jones. He's whipped for the moment until yeah. he, uh, until he ties the whip around her breast and, <laughs> and says adios. Says, yeah, exactly. Too many fucking kids. Stop. Who is your favorite madness. actor? Oh, good question. I think it depends on what what genre, like what, how challenging the Harrison role Ford. is. Um, so, what was your favorite film? I don't know that I have a favorite one. I, I like Traffic two. for the excessive drug use. I mean, that was just classic. Yeah, but what about the blacks in that picture? Well, they were portrayed, you know, as drug dealers, you know, as they normally are in in yeah, film but isn't and that just, isn't stereotyping. That, well, not only that, but it's creating a stigma upon black society saying we're big hokey men who fuck little 16 white year old chicks so named jennifer styles who's a cunt so they can get drugs i thought white man's burden was done really well the the reversal that they showed there oh that with john travolta is that the yeah. one you saw yeah i saw that that was a very good I never where saw they chased that. yeah that movie uh, came and went in a matter of days because the it was portraying the, the whites the blacks were the whites was the idea so all the white people were being you know beaten up by, by black cops. And right, and Michael oh, Kennedy, of course, doesn't want to see this. Uh, I, I don't know. If, if, would Michael Kennedy see that? No. <laughs> no. One of my all long-time standing favorites is Dangerous Liaisons due to the lineup in there. The, you know, Uma Thurman, Michelle Pfeiffer, John Malkovich, Glenn Close, um, a young Keanu Reeves. That's right, he was in that. It's one of my my most favorite just because the it's so excessive, like their clothing and the dress is really well done and and the people that they have do a really good job. I like it. But that's I like Why? Snatch this year. It's over now. I Snatch. still like it. Snatch. Where plays a what what he was a piker and then uh Abba del Toro plays a diamond thief. I didn't see it, but isn't that oh, kind of uh really just like uh Going for Madonna's the, husband or boyfriend or whatever. No, 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 no. He's he he's a that. director. Oh yeah, oh, he's right. the director. Oh right, he did that yeah. film. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see it, but you know, just the fact that it's called Snatch. Indeed. <laughs> yeah. I mean, some colloquialism mm. of America. Which I mean, is, if we don't want that on our screens no, or on our TV sets. But sexual. if we see the word Snatch, we run to it as fast as we possibly can. Right. It's the intrigue. And believe me, who did you want in that picture? Who did I want? Brad Pitt. No, yes, I was all, you, I was oh, down oh, with Benicio. Oh, Benicio. Was, yeah, well, he, he won. The, I mean, he got he killed supporting though. Supporting actor, yeah. you know, for, for traffic. For, for traffic, but not for snatch. No, snatch mm -hmm. is snatch came too late. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> I haven't seen traffic. <laughs> you mean I that do snatch want to see came too late. <laughs> a little double entendre there. What about you? What's your favorite of the season? I didn't see anything. Come on, I think, hate people like Well, that. I didn't go to the theaters. <laughs> and um, We all know we're tied into the popcorn. <laughs> I can't. I don't even have TV. I mean, this is... Oh, oh I didn't say that. I didn't say like that. that. Do you really not have a TV? I watch videos. Oh, you do have a TV, though. Yeah. And you do watch videos. But I don't watch TV in general, like so cable or whatever. So you selectively watch your videos, like exactly. Snatch. Exactly. Now, but what I, other are your favorite videos that you would check out at the local store? Uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. That's by, so that's by far my all-time favorite film. Is there anything bad about that film? Nothing. Nothing? Barry! But don't you think that it's really <laughs> the story of a man who goes insane and builds a... A big a sand fucking castle clay, in his clay apartment. mountain in his house. Yeah. and his potato castle. Mashed potato castle. He's definitely psychotic. Oh, absolutely. The but whole that's thing's the a delusion. 
He should be locked up and put in the quiet room. He should. He should. <laughs> as, uh, as well as Harrison Ford and close, or, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Talk about a guy with an attitude. Harrison Ford. <laughs> yeah. I saw him on Bravo the other day with that other guy. The actor and licks the pussy Wait, of every who's that? actress who's that? when he's interviewing, you know, on Bravo. He's like, oh, yes. Uh, oh, that British guy. It was guy. incredible when uh, you and uh, Billy Crystal were there in the diner and if we could just relive that one more time, that was uh, the finest acting of our some generation. Egos. Yes. <laughs> That's Meg, stroking. you're incredible. Ah, 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 ah. Stop, don't stop. Oh, baby, give it to me more. That's right, that's right. I, I couldn't figure out what you were talking about at first. I would like that Quentin movie. Tarantino to come out with something um, that would rival Reservoir Dogs from his earlier days. Something yeah. nice and twisted We're talking twisted about full-on like blood gore. How about and if he just turns it all the way around and does a little Disney flick? Well, you know, with little children. Would you flock to see it? I mean, would you take your little coven of kitties to see something that Quentin Tarantino did? It would be a, it would be a nice little move. It would be like somewhat Fritz subversive. Disney style. Fritz the I cat. just saw um, <laughs> The Emperor's New Groove, the, the Disney flick that just came out. It was cute. It was well done. Saber? Oh, and Sting mm-hmm. was nominated for Best Song. Yeah, but who won? Uh, Tandon for... Uh, no, no. Robert Dylan won. Oh, oh Bob Dylan, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Things have changed. Things have changed. And he I don't look- care anymore. Wow, that was real cutting edge. <laughs> <laughs> you know real wow. inventor. Uh, now, I'm, Boys. now I'm part of the American public. I don't care. I'm <laughs> a- totally apathetic, except that I'm the king of all things. It's too bad. It is too bad. He looked like shit. He looked like uh, some. I right now it's I was four. When was four croak. people have told me that he looked like. Uh, Vincent Price and three said Salvador Dali. <laughs> so, a combination of the two. He is That's kind of very a clever. Of two. That's it's very clever. clever because he actually planned it that way. I mean, throughout his it life, was he's all been, a move he's to been moving the, towards the, that. The American conscience. He's the king of pop culture now. What do you think about Marilyn Manson as a Willy Wonka? Has that come out yet? No. <laughs> I think that's beautiful. That you think so? I think that's great. I think he'll be able to do a better job than Gene Wilder did? No way. Gene uh, Wilder impossible. was fucked up beyond <laughs> all recognition in that film. I love watching his eyes. He was on some mad no, poppers. Don't. And stop. <laughs> all I know is I'd be going after the gum. <laughs> I'd be going after the water then, that uh, wild ride like Maggie Simpson in the, in the Duff World. Yeah, Isn't that where they went? Don't drink the water. Oh, yeah, and then Lisa drinks the water, and then she's totally tripping. Yeah. Yep. (laughs) But what do you think about the material on TV? Do you think it should be restricted or or controlled in any way? No, I think it's much too restricted. Yeah, I agree. What about for the kids? What about for the kids? There should be, I mean, that's parental control. I mean, if they want to restrict their children's viewing, then they should maybe parent a little bit better. You mean that kids should be going to bed by 10 p.m.? No, you know what? Parents should be able to. If they choose to restrict their children's viewing, then they shouldn't rely on on some kind of motion picture rating or whatever. They should rely on their own judgment. Well, I think that they they could make it easier. Like um... they rate they rate every every show now with a, a rating. Well, but we should have more channels that show more explicit stuff and then just have a way for parents to block that channel unless they enter like their little code. You know, you could enter like a passcode, and then that would unlock like your lock channels. So when your children, so like when your children are home, down with some kind of pornographic yeah, that's material. right. It should be available right there on channel number whatever, yeah, right. instead of like, oh, I have to go yeah. now to the stupid porn store and rent some porn. It should just be available right there, with the availability to be locked, of course. Oh. So leave it up. So we okay. should get a lockbox. I remember that. You, yeah, remember I think it would be pretty box? simple. It's too bad we lost the lockbox. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go move the yarn so. and have a cigarette. Yeah. Well, it was really enjoyable Where's speaking with you. Yeah, I guess that's all we have today. You know, you, we'll edit something, we'll get something out of this shit. <laughs> that's right. Non profanity, riddled. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> please, fuck more like breasts funnies. on TV. <laughs> oh, yeah. please. More, more meow, more, too. More gay sex on TV. <laughs> Wait, there's, no, there's no gay sex on TV now. Well, we're going to have it on my show. Right on. <laughs> Really? No, no, really. This this Friday, well, it doesn't matter, but Friday night we're going to have a little, uh, little, uh, you know, butt fucking. Butt fucking? Really? What about the, what about pretty girls? 
Well, <laughs> you can give us fruit. <laughs> With other pretty girls. Oh, that? Well, yeah, sure. I'm, I'm all for that. <laughs> Bring two up to my. I live on the penthouse floor. Fourth floor. <laughs> Sounds like a good NBC really, show. You got a lockbox up there? Uh, it's my own lockbox. <laughs> it's my choir room. It's my damn show. <laughs> called Notes from the Choir Room, and that's where the show originates, is my living space. Nice. We try to be as live as possible, but we have to edit the live material. Well, of course. Can't have any Michael Kennedy, you know, profanity. Couldn't yeah. just be putting people out there saying, oh, fuck, all the time. Yeah, like, fuck. <laughs> I'm actually, you know, Michael Kennedy doesn't know what he's up against. He should have never, <laughs> never, because he says he's going to a city council meeting, mm -hmm. and he's, he's not going to stop. He's gonna until get to the end of this, yeah. Rest. Until 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 you become the next. Until the city end. realizes that uh, we are promoting morals that Repre they more than are reprehensible, really. Reprehensible. Yeah. I, I according to him. According to him, you know. Well, Just because I might say, hey, look, if the students are gonna riot, come on downtown and let's wipe out all these, you know, corporate business. chain yep. businesses. So, uh, who's got the first rock? First rock? Well, you know, to, to throw. Oh. <laughs> I didn't say that. No, but no, no we can't. No, we do not. We do not. Here. Yeah, we don't, we don't promote it. But if it happens, let it happen. That's what I... You well, know. and so maybe you're promoting, like... Down here. We'll bus them down here. Yeah, we could have a little bus. And they can and throw you have the rock to, after they buy their first cafe latte. You have to be above the intoxicant. Yeah. Right, to make you sure you're drunk. Point one zero to board this bus. Are you willing to... Uh, you know, expose yourself in public. Well, I that, have exposed myself in public. I, well, no. yes, but you weren't drunk. I'm talking about the drunks. We Shit. want to get the drunks um, to do that. Well, wait till the end of this week because the students are on spring break. Well, so. that's a blessing right now. That's why Indeed. I thought I had a chance to come out here before the riot started. <laughs> <laughs> get a get a picture view of what it looked like before. Yeah. You know, I think it would. I think it's fine to to question or challenge people's limited perception. I mean, just because your morals or ideas aren't the same as theirs doesn't mean that theirs are right and ours are wrong. It also doesn't mean that they shouldn't be allowed to see it and perhaps think about it. Yeah, and it, it doesn't hurt to say, oh boy, Eminem seems like a real idiot to me and a jerk, but he's but cute. But you're not going to shut guess. him down because No, of I'm that. not going to shut him down. Because also he's, you know, a I might, multi-millionaire. Like, and yeah, and I, I might irritate him. I might say, you know, like... You suck. You suck. Quid pro suck. quo. Well, and look at what kind of idiot we got for a president. Who's stopping that? Yeah, I mean. <laughs> but please don't. Who didn't do no, cocaine? You please, know what I'm nobody saying? Nobody shoot him because would we want the fucking Wyoming guy in office? Yeah, I mean, why can't we pollute the airwaves if he's, if he's going to pollute the rest of the world? You know? Exactly. Yeah. Hey, if I say an obscenity, at least I can still breathe in 20 years. Word. I don't know if I can. <laughs> <laughs> well, keep smoking. Yeah, keep smoking. All right, well, that's it, I guess. Oh, that's well. it, Thanks. then. Good luck with the show. Enjoy Thank your you. day.